welcome you in the lecture series of random processes detection and estimation it is 30th lecture of this series in the previous lecture we have discussed about crlv that is useful to determine minimum variance unbiased estimator in this lecture we will discuss the easy way to find out the mvue which is known as a linear model and the outline of this lecture are definition and properties of linear model MVUE for linear model and in the objective of this lecture you will able to explain how the linear model is uh, used to find MVUE and the properties of linear model to find MVUE is in general a difficult task fortunately a large number of estimation problems can be represented by a data model that allows to uh, determine the MVUE this class of model is known as MVUE. Now the definition and properties of the linear model. Uh, recall in the uh, previous example 97 in lecture 28 uh, that uh, was uh, noise uh, the noise corrupted data xn is equal to a plus bn plus omega n where small n is from 0 to n minus 1 and where omega n is the white Gaussian noise process and the slope v and intercept A were to be estimated and this is the example of uh, a fit a, a straight line uh, through the no noisy corrupted data and uh, the, uh, we have seen that the variance of A was uh, variance of A kept uh, greater than or equal to 2 into 2 and minus A sigma square by n into n plus 1 and the variance of uh, B cap it was uh, greater than or equal to 12 is a sigma square by n into n square minus 1. Now in the matrix notation the model can be represented as you know x is equal to h theta plus omega where x is equal to transpose matrix of x naught x1 to xn minus 1 and this is n is to 1 observation vector and omega is uh, the trans uh, the transpose of matrix omega naught omega 1 to m omega n minus 1 and this is n is to 1 noise vector uh, with the uh, mean 0 and variance sigma square into i it is normal random process and uh, theta is uh, the transpose of the matri uh, vector a b and this is 2 is to 1 vector of parameter to be estimated here h is uh, 1 0 1 1 uh, 0 1 1 1 and n minus 1 so it is n is to known observation matrix and the data model in this equation in this equation first is termed as a linear model and from CRLB theorem uh, you know uh, theta cap is g theta will be the MVE if del log e p x theta by del theta is equal to i theta g x minus theta for some function g and the covariance matrix of uh, theta cap that is c theta cap it is equal to i inverse theta inverse of the Fisher information matrix to determine if this condition is satisfied for the linear model uh, log uh, del log e p x theta by del theta it will be equal to uh, i theta uh, g x theta minus theta and it is del by del theta minus log e uh, 2 pi uh, sigma square is to the power n by 2 minus 1 by 2 sigma square x uh, transpose of matrix x minus h theta into uh, x minus h theta matrix and it can be uh, uh, minus 1 by 2 sigma square del by del theta and uh, x transpose x minus 2 x transpose h theta plus h uh, theta transpose h transpose plus h theta and with some identities uh, like uh, del b transpose theta by del theta is equal to b and del theta transpose a theta by del theta is equal to 2 a theta uh, we can have del log e p x theta by del theta and it is equal to 1 by sigma square h transpose x minus h transpose h theta and if h transpose h theta is invertible then we can write log e uh, del log e p x theta by del theta it will be equal to h transpose h divided by sigma square 
and uh, the matrix H transpose H inverse H transpose X minus theta. So uh, the estimated value of theta, theta cap, it will be equal to inverse of the matrix H transpose H into H transpose X and the Fisher information I theta, it will be H transpose H by sigma square. So the MVUE of theta is given in this equation second and its covariance matrix can be given as C theta cap, uh, it will be equal to I inverse theta and it will be equal to uh, I square and inverse of the matrix H transpose H. In addition, the MVUE estimator for the linear model is efficient in that it attains the CRLB. Now there is one theorem related to MVUE, minimum variance unbiased estimator for linear model. If the data observed can be modeled as x is equal to h theta plus omega, where x is n is to 1 vector of observation and theta is n is to p observation matrix where n greater than p with rank p and theta is p is to 1 vector parameter of uh, the parameters which are to be estimated and omega is n is to 1 observation vector with pdf normal random variable with mean 0 and variance sigma square into i then the mvue is uh, theta cap it is it will be equal to uh, the inverse of the matrix h transpose h into h transpose x and the covariance of the matrix of uh, theta cap it is uh, covariance of theta caps c theta cap it will be equal to i inverse theta or you can say sigma square and inverse of the matrix H transpose H. For the linear model, the MVUE is efficient in that it attains CRLB. Here theta cap is a linear transformation of a Gaussian vector X. Uh, so theta cap it is the uh, normal Gaussian uh, variable random process with the mean theta and uh, covariance matrix it will be sigma square and inverse of the matrix S transpose H. The Gaussian nature of MVUE for the linear model allow us to determine the exact statistical performance uh, if desired. Consider the problem of wireless communication where we want to estimate the unknown channel. Uh, because the receiver cannot decode the transmitted symbol correctly unless the channel is known. To overcome this issue, the transmitter regularly transmit a known pseudorandom noise PN sequence uh, UN so as to enable the receiver to estimate the unknown channel as in figure. This is a transmitter which transmit the known PN sequence UN and this is the unknown channel uh, HZ uh, is equal to summation K0 to P minus 1 h k z is to the power minus k and here the noise is additive and and we receive the data in addition with the noise the signal and the noise so the unknown channel can be modeled as a fire filter of an order p as you can see here so the received signal at the receiver uh, it will be xn is equal to k 0 to p minus 1 this may a fire filter of order p hk un minus k plus noise omega n where small n is from 0 to n minus 1 and let un is 0 for n less than 0 in, in the matrix form we can write it as x is equal to u0 0 0 0 u1 u0 0 0, 0 and up to un minus 1 un minus 2 up to u n minus p and H naught H1 H P minus 1 plus W. So here it is H matrix H and this is uh, the mat uh, the, the vector theta. So this is a linear model and the MVUE of the channel impulse response it will be calculated as you know from the theorem. It is theta cap it is equal to the inverse of the matrix H transpose H into H transpose X and the covariance matrix of the channel estimator it will be 
c theta cap it, is, it will be equal to i inverse theta and it is equal to sigma square inverse of the h transpose h uh, you know since h i j is u i minus j and then we have h transpose h i j it will be summation n uh, summation n is equal to 1 to n u n minus i u n minus j where i j are 1 to up to p uh, for large n and u n is equal to 0 for n uh, for n less than 0 and n greater than n minus 1 we have h transpose h i j it will be equal to summation n 0 to n minus 1 minus more i minus j u n u n plus more j minus i minus j and it is autocorrelation uh, function of the unknown sequence u n you can see here is autocorrelation and uh, so h transpose h it will be n into autocorrelation with 0 autocorrelation with 1 u 0 0 u 1 1 up to u uh, p minus 1 u 1 1 uh, r u u 1 r u u 0 and r u u p minus 2 and it will be up to r u u 0 so on the diagonal it is r u u 0 in the diagonal and uh, for anti sequence the autocorrelation matrix has the property r u u k is equal to 0 uh, when k not equal to 0 so h transpose h is the diagonal matrix here so h transpose h will be equal to n into r u u i into uh, u u naught into identity matrix i now the covariance of the channel estimator reduced to variance h cap i it will be c theta cap and it will be sigma square upon n u u naught into identity matrix so the fir filter coefficient estimators are independent and the mvu for the ith filter coefficient it is uh, h cap i it will be equal to 1 by n r u u naught a summation n 0 to n minus 1 u n minus i into x n and i can also write it as a summation n 0 to n minus 1 minus i u n x n plus i and divided by n r u u naught so here you can calculate h i cap it will be equal to r u x i divided by r u u 0 where i is from 0 to n minus 1 and r u x i is the cross correlation between data and p n sequence so far in this lecture we have discussed about the definition and properties of linear model. It was 13th lecture of the lecture series of random processes detection and estimation. In the next lecture, we will discuss about general linear model. Till then, thanks for listening this lecture. Thank you.